Well, beautiful sunrise underway, and that is a good sign for the upcoming weekend. Now, you notice there are some clouds hanging in. These should gradually diminish as we go through the day, and this is another view from Keeneland. Uh, we're in good shape. We've got high pressure building in just as we get the weekend rolling. Your max track clear. The few showers, thunder showers that we saw yesterday, long gone. Now, we did see a little bit of rain, but it wasn't much for most locations. And as we continue to expand the view, here comes that high with cold fronts on either side of us, more showers and storms down south, and there's the precipitation. Uh, most folks stayed fairly dry. You see a whole lot of zeros showing up to be the Kentucky Mezzanet over the past 24 hours, but Shelbyville had a half an inch, three tenths of an inch in McKee. Our southeastern county saw more activity with that afternoon round of scattered showers and storms than we did here in the bluegrass. We kind of caught them just as they were beginning and then they dropped southeast. So the areas that needed the precipitation the most were the ones that didn't really see that much. So we're still running pretty dry as you head west, southwest of Lexington, Lexington as well running a rainfall deficit over the past 30 days. And our rain chance for the weekend is pretty much nil, and it does start to rise next week. So we'll see active weather getting going as early as Monday. But for right now, we're heading in the other direction. The showers yet from yesterday, the storms are gone. Future track trying to get a stray shower going down south. I think it's going to be too dry to see much in the way of that. But the morning clouds will gradually break. We'll go mostly sunny later on today and then for tomorrow with high pressure pretty much right overhead. We'll end up with sunshine Saturday, maybe the pick day of the weekend. A little more cloud cover building back in Sunday and the possibility of some isolated showers late in the day. You can see that overall wind shift over to the southeast, eventually to the south. And that's when things will start to warm up. The humidity will start to climb next week and we'll start to get back into the storm chances. The pollen count is creeping up on us as well with the active weather. We've been down at medium low levels at times. Now we're back to medium high levels with grass, the main offender. It's 61 degrees, the dew point, the air, the moisture in the air, uh, that, that's what this is an indication of. When it's down in the 50s, that's drier air filtering in. And you can see it coming in from the northwest. Water vapor, vapor imagery showing the lingering cloud cover here. Uh, the orange, an indication of much drier air, and it's right along the Ohio River, and it'll continue to work its way in here as that high does the same. And we've also got temperatures down below our average high of 81. It's 78 today. We'll get back to a near 80 tomorrow. Quick update on the tropics because that'll be a point of interest for folks down in Florida. Potential tropical cyclone one, the remnants of what was Agatha in the eastern North Pacific. National Hurricane Center giving it a 90% chance of formation within the next 48 hours. Whether it's a named storm, Alex or not, this is South Florida and this is a half a foot or more of rain. They're about to see tropical downpours, and there's the uh, you know, 2022 Atlantic hurricane season basin name list with Alex right at the top of the list there. The eight day shows that beautiful weekend ahead over the next three days, and let's go the other direction and show you the rest of the eight day. Uh, there are the shower and storm chances that are on the rise next week. So, yeah, again, great timing for the upcoming weekend.